Babylon 5, the groundbreaking 90s science fiction series created by J. Michael Straczynski, left an indelible mark on the genre as it redefined the standard for narrative arcs on television. As opposed to the episodic, standalone approach that preceded it, Straczynski conceived of a five-year story arc from the outset. Featuring themes surrounding cyclical wars, racial tension, politics, and religion, the show followed human military staff, along with an array of alien diplomats stationed on Babylon 5. In the aftermath of several major interspecies wars, the space station is hailed as the last best hope for peace, located in neutral territory where humans and aliens can come together to work out their differences. Though remakes and reboots are commonplace today, rarely is the original creator of the IP at the helm. This is the case for the new Babylon 5 series, where Straczynski once again hopes to break new ground by reimagining his own story. Though it has been a long and troubled road to production, the creator remains confident, and in a recent interview he confirmed that the prospect of a reboot is still very much alive and is making some encouraging progress. In this video, I'd like to break down the B5 creator's recent comments and what this means about the future of the series. The news of a Babylon 5 reboot was revealed back in September of 2021. Since then, the journey to production has been met with considerable obstacles. When this project was first announced, it was revealed that Warner Brothers, which produced the original series, would also develop the remake with episodes set to air on the CW network. At the time, however, many wondered if the more youth-oriented network, known for its various troubled productions, marked by many series cancellations, were the right fit for such serious sci-fi fare as Babylon 5. These concerns turned out to be entirely justified, as not long after this announcement, the CW experienced a major change, with Nexstar Media Group acquiring 75% ownership of the network, with the original co-owners, Warner Brothers Discovery and Paramount Global, retaining a minority stake. Warner Media itself was also going through a monumental transition with its merger with Discovery, and during this tumultuous time, the reboot was put on ice. Later, according to JMS in a social media post, it was confirmed that Warner Brothers was able to get the rights back to the Babylon 5 reboot and its script in order to pursue other avenues of production. Then, the lengthy writers and actors strike in 2023 stopped all further development. Shortly after the strikes were resolved and Warner Brothers was about to, quote, send it out the door to shop, another hiccup unfortunately occurred that JMS addressed in his interview, which was the rumor of the potential merger between Warner Brothers Discovery and Paramount. At the time, JMS stated, the studio is waiting for the Paramount merger issue to be resolved and for the streamers slash buyers to figure out what they want to do and how they want to do it within the parameters of a new financial model keeping B5 out of the line of fire until this is all worked out. Now, several months later, in the wake of years of corporate chaos, the Babylon 5 reboot is officially being sent to prospective buyers. The confirmation of this news came in a recent interview with Inverse, where JMS was asked about this new project and whether it would still happen. Straczynski responded saying, quote, it's just been a matter of time and obstacles. We were going to go with the CW originally, then Warner got it back. Then we were going to take it out to the market, but then the discovery purchase happened and that put us on ice for a while. Then okay, that got all cleared up. And then the strike hits. After that, right as they were literally prepared to send it out the door, the rumor about a merger between Warner and Paramount happened. So finally, it went out to buyers about two weeks ago. We're waiting on word from those who have been sent the pilot script. One has said no, but the rest are still in process. There's interest from the rest of them, so we will see where it goes. Though I admit I'm unfamiliar with the ins and outs of Warner Media, I can't help but question why they haven't decided to air the reboot on their own Mac streaming service. The remastered version of the original Babylon 5 series recently was brought to the platform. However, after its license expired, it was then moved to stream on Roku and Tubi. Regardless, JMS feels confident in the interest of studios, and we simply have to wait for one to give the green light on his reimagined vision. Honestly, it's difficult to keep up with the business side of things when it comes to development of certain projects, especially lately with the ever-evolving streaming landscape. However, I must say that Straczynski's continued confidence in the development of this long gestating project gives me hope that his dream will once again be given form. In regards to the premise of the new series itself, JMS has confirmed it is a from-the-ground-up reboot. 
The premise of the story reads as follows. John Sheridan, an Earth Force officer with a mysterious background who was assigned to Babylon 5, a five-mile-long space station in neutral space. A port of call for travelers, smugglers, corporate explorers, and alien diplomats at a time of uneasy peace and the constant threat of war. His arrival triggers a destiny beyond anything he could have imagined as an exploratory Earth company accidentally triggers a conflict with a civilization a million years ahead of us, putting Sheridan and the rest of the B-5 crew in the line of fire as the last best hope for the survival of the human race. JMS has actually already paved the way for a reboot with the recent development and release of the animated film Babylon 5 The Road Home, released in 2023, direct-to-video. The movie follows John Sheridan as he's transported through multiple timelines and alternate realities, and which opens the way to explore alternate possibilities. On the commentary track on the Blu-ray, Straczynski revealed, quote, it reboots the Babylon 5 universe, and we may or may not have the Shadow War, and everyone is there in the beginning as it were, and the slate is clean, we can do whatever we want. In the past, he's also made clear that he doesn't want to retread what he's already done story-wise with the original series, but that it was better to go the way of the revivals like Westworld and Ronald D. Moore's Battlestar Galactica, where you take elements from the original and mix them together with new, challenging ideas to create something fresh yet familiar. JMS has previously stated that anyone who knows the history of Babylon 5 knows that the path of this show has never been easy and rarely proceeds in a straight line. Apparently, that has not changed. So while the future of this series is still uncertain as it stands currently, I'm glad to hear that it's made enough progress to be shopped around, and I'm eagerly anticipating news of production finally moving forward on Straczynski's reimagined series. His enduring passion to continue growing this iconic science fiction universe is contagious. I only hope the business side of things can finally be handled by competent individuals who recognize the value in Babylon 5 and allow this universe to thrive once more. But I'm curious to know what you think of the latest news from the Babylon 5 creator about the current state of the rebooted series. Do you feel this reimagining is the best approach for this IP? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. And if you're looking for other ways to show your appreciation, you can check out my Patreon page, where members get access to exclusive content and perks. Thank you all so much for your support. And as always, have a very nerdy day.